Hi, I'm Lisa Bardot, and today we're gonna to be drawing this super cute, spooky cat in Procreate. For this drawing, you'll be using a lot of really useful Procreate features, like working with layers, alpha lock, clipping masks, and more. This is a great drawing tutorial for beginners or anyone who wants to get into the spooky spirit. If you're new to Procreate, I recommend watching my Procreate for Beginners tutorial to get you familiar with the basics. And if you wanna take your learning to the next level, you should join Art Makers Club. Art Makers Club is a joy-filled creative community and learning hub for digital art makers. As a member, you'll get access to a growing library of in-depth courses, live virtual events and tutorials, free Procreate brushes, and more. Plus, you'll be joining a supportive and uplifting community of learning artists. You can watch this video ad-free and you'll receive the exact color palette I use as well as the Procreate file to dig into. Find out more at artmakersclub.com. Let's get started with our drawing. So we're here in the gallery view in Procreate and we're gonna begin by creating a new canvas. To do that, you're gonna tap the plus sign in the upper right corner. I have a canvas template saved that is 2800 by 3500 pixels. To create a canvas template, you can tap this little rectangle icon and then type in the size that you need. But if you already have a template made, again, it's 2800 by 3500 pixels. We'll begin by setting our background color. We're gonna go up to the layers menu up here, which is these two little squares. We're gonna tap that and then we're gonna tap here where it says background color. And for the background, we're going to create sort of a warm gray. So we're going to move the outer disc or the outer ring up into the kind of like orangey yellow area. And then in the inner disc, we're going to kind of move it down into the grays here and then kind of go in so that it's a little bit warmer. So there's where my colors are. And we're gonna start by drawing the cat. So for that, we're gonna be using black. So we're gonna go here to the color picker and we're going to set our color to black, which is just down here. Next, we're gonna select a brush. For this piece, I'm going to be using brushes from my basic toolkit. It's a brush set that I created, but you can use whichever brushes you want. And I'll kind of describe what type of brush that I'm using. So we're gonna go over to the brushes panel and I'm going into my basic toolkit here. And the brush that I'm gonna be using is called Blobby. So this is a, a brush that has sort of a little bit of a textured edge, but it's overall really smooth and it's great for drawing big shapes. So we'll begin by drawing the body of our cat, which is gonna be down towards the lower part of our canvas. So I'm gonna start by drawing a line straight down like that. Then I'm gonna draw the neck, which is gonna be a line across like that. It's totally okay if it's messy. And then I'm gonna draw a curving line that kind of goes down and out like that. And finally, connect it at the bottom. Once you have a completely closed shape, you can fill it with color drop. To use color drop, you just go over here to the color picker, color picker circle and drag it out and then drag it into your shape and let go and it should fill that shape with color as long as it's a completely closed shape. So we are gonna clean things down here a little bit in a minute, but for now we're gonna draw the head of our cat. So that's gonna be a big oval. So draw an oval like this, just kinda freehand that and fill it in. And then we're gonna draw two tall skinny ears going up, kinda like that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and fill those in. So now I'm gonna clean things up a little bit. And to do this, I'm gonna use the eraser tool. Now, my brush that I have selected is blobby, and I wanna use this same brush as my eraser, so that way when I erase everything, you know, all the brush strokes match. So a quick way to select the same brush as your eraser is by tapping and holding this eraser icon. So I'll tap and hold it, and now if I tap into the, brush or the eraser panel, you'll see that I have blobby selected as my eraser. So now I'm gonna take two fingers and I'm just gonna kind of zoom in down here. And then I'm just gonna erase across the bottom. And you can see that gives me a nice clean edge and sharp corners. So I love using the eraser to um, help me draw my shapes and make them a little more refined. And then I'm also gonna zoom up here to the cat's ears and I might erase these a little bit to just kind of make them a little more pointy. And it's okay if it looks a little like rough and wonky. I think that adds to the character of your drawing. So embrace those imperfections. So now I'm gonna zoom back out with a quick pinch gesture like this, and then I'm gonna draw the tail. So to do that, I'm gonna switch back to my brush 
And then I'm just gonna draw, starting kind of over here, I'm just gonna draw a line like that, kind of curve it around. You can make your tail look whichever shape you want. So we finished the cat body, and the next thing we're gonna do is add a little bit of shading just to make this shape a little more interesting. To do that, we're gonna be using a really awesome feature called Alpha Lock. Alpha Lock, basically what it does is it locks the shape that you've already drawn so that you can only draw within that shape and you can't draw outside of it. So it's perfect for adding shading to a shape like this. To do that, we're gonna go up to the Layers panel, and there's two ways you can turn on Alpha Lock. One of them is by tapping the layer and then tapping Alpha Lock here in the Options menu, or you can do it by taking two fingers, swiping to the right on the layer, like that. Whoops, there you go, like that. And you'll see that we've got this checkerboard pattern here in the layer thumbnail. So we've got Alpha Lock on. We're gonna go ahead and choose kind of a lighter gray to add some shading. So I'm gonna go over to the colors, and I'm just gonna move this little circle up. Whoops, I'm gonna move it up so that it's uh, over in the gray. So kind of like that, just choose a lighter or kind of a dark gray. And then I'm gonna go over to my brushes and I am gonna switch to this brush called Coarse Shader. This is a brush that's got a lot of really awesome texture and it's great for adding some like textured shading. So any brush that you have that's got kind of like soft textured edges will work well for this. So all I'm gonna do is just kind of like paint in over one side of the cat's body, over one side of the head, and then kind of along the top, sort of like that. I'm not adding a lot, we're not going for anything super accurate, but this is just to add a little bit of visual interest to the drawing. Next, we're gonna do the face and ear details, and we're gonna create a new layer to do those. So we're gonna go up to the Layers menu and tap this plus sign and you'll see layer two is created. And you'll notice that whatever layer is the selected layer is highlighted in blue. So you wanna make sure that layer two is the selected layer. So we're gonna start with the eyes. So I'm gonna go over to my colors and I'm gonna choose white. And there's a cool shortcut for choosing a pure white value in Procreate and that's to double tap close to white and it will snap to a pure white value. So tap, tap, and you'll see it snaps to a pure white value. I'm gonna also go into my brushes and I'm gonna change to a new brush now. The brush I'm using is called Inker, and this is um, sort of a uh, more of a fine brush, better for details. It's got a little bit of a textured edge, so I think it's gonna be great for that. So choose a brush that's similar to that if you don't have this. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom into my face and then just draw two big ovals, and then I can fill them in with color drop. And then we're gonna actually use the eraser to erase away part of these ovals to make them more pointy, like cat eyes. So again, I'm gonna tap and hold the eraser so that I can choose that inker brush as my eraser. And then I'm just gonna erase part of them away like that so that I can make these kind of almond-shaped cat eyes. So now I'm trying to get them roughly the same size and shape. But again, doesn't have to be perfect. Next, I'm gonna add some white details to the inside of these ears. So I'll just zoom up there and I'll switch to my brush. I'm gonna draw a couple triangle shapes. They don't have to be perfect. Make them a little bigger than you need because we're gonna erase to make them a little bit more refined. So I've made those two white shapes and then I'm gonna switch to my eraser and just erase part of those away, just like that. And then I'm going to do the little mouth and nose. So for the mouth, I'm gonna switch to a different brush. I'm gonna go up to my brushes, and the brush that I'm gonna use is called Grainy Liner. So this is a liner brush, which is great for doing line work, but it's got a lot of really awesome texture. So if you have a brush like that, you can choose that, but I'm using Grainy Liner. And I'm gonna draw a little mouth, just kind of like two J shapes. And then while I'm here, I'm gonna use this brush to do a couple whiskers, like that. So now we're gonna switch to a new color to finish the details here. So I'm gonna go up to my colors and I'm gonna choose kind of a nice orange. So you can do a bright orange. I'm gonna do a little bit of a kind of burnt orange sort of. So I am not all the way to the edge here in the color disc. I'm a little bit in this way. And then I'm gonna to go to my brushes and switch back to the inker because I'm gonna draw the little nose. So I'll just zoom in. And then for the nose, it's just a little kind of triangle, rounded triangle shape, like that. Then I'm gonna draw the insides of the eyes using Alpha Lock again. So I'll just zoom out a bit, 
I'm gonna go up to my layers and I'm gonna turn on alpha lock on this new layer. So I'm gonna take two fingers, swipe to the right. Now I can only draw within these eye shapes or anything else on that layer, but I'm gonna be doing it in the eyes. So I'm just gonna do big eyes kind of like this, just drawing a curved line and then filling that in. And there too. You gotta be careful that you don't touch anything else on that layer or it'll turn orange too. So just be aware of that. I kind of did, so. So the, that is the entire cat. And now we're gonna start working on the other elements in this scene. So we've, we're gonna add some little bats and the, um, a moon and, and some stars and things like that. So I wanna make sure that there's room for this stuff, but I kind of made my cat a little too big. So if you've did this, um, you can follow along and resize all of this with me. So I'm gonna go up to my layers and I'm gonna select both of these layers so that I can resize both of them at the same time. To do that, you're just gonna swipe to the right on the other layer. So you can select multiple layers that way just by swiping to the right with one, one finger or with your pencil. Now go over here to the transform tool, which is this little arrow. And then you'll see a bounding box around that and you can just grab the corner and just resize that. You can move your zoom around if you need to see, but I'm gonna kinda put it in the middle, make sure there's enough room for my little bat friends up there. And then when you're done, tap that arrow again. So now I'm gonna add some bats up here. Um, so I'll go ahead and switch to black. So I'm gonna go back up to my color pickers and just kind of slide down here into the black. And then I'm gonna go to my layers and I'm actually gonna reuse the same layer that I did the cat body. And you notice if you start drawing, you can't, and that's because we still have alpha lock turned on. So you gotta make sure you turn it off. So we're gonna take two fingers, swipe to the right. The checkerboard is gone. So we're all good and we can start drawing again. So let's go ahead and zoom up over here. And for the first bat, we're gonna just draw kind of like a curved line like that. And then we're gonna draw another curved line. So it almost looks like a crescent shape. And then fill that in with color drop. We're gonna use the eraser tool to draw this bat. So we're gonna switch back to our eraser, which is still set to inker, which is fine for this. And I'm gonna, I wanna sharpen these corners first. So I'm just gonna erase that away a little bit. So we've got nice sharp corners. And then I'm just gonna erase away kind of some scallops across the bottom of this crescent shape. And that's gonna create a little bat like that. And then I can use my brush tool and draw in a little bat head, just a little circle, and maybe some little ears like that. And let's do one more right here. So again, I'm gonna draw kind of like a crescent shape like that and fill it in with color drop, erase away top bit, and then some little scallops across the bottom. And then I'll draw in a head and some tiny little ears. And then I'm gonna go back to this layer that we used for the cat face details to do the eyes of the bat. So I'm gonna turn off alpha lock on that layer with a two finger swipe to the right. So make sure alpha lock is off. And then I wanna use the same orange that I used for the cat to do the eyes of the bat. So to select that same exact color, you just take one finger and you hold it down anywhere on the canvas and you can slide around and select any color. So I'm gonna select this orange. You'll see now I have the orange here. So I'm just gonna draw, keep these really simple and just draw two little eyes. You can add a mouth or whatever other details you want. It's looking pretty cute. So the next thing I'm gonna do is add a moon behind the cat and the bats. And to do that, we're gonna need to create a layer below everything else so that the moon will be behind everything. So we're gonna create the, a new layer by tapping the plus sign and then just tap, hold and drag this new layer underneath everything else. That's how layers work. They, whatever's at the top of the list is gonna be in front on your drawing. So we wanna make sure this one's at the bottom so it's in the back. Now we're gonna go over to our colors and I am gonna choose sort of a, kind of a warm yellow like that. Not all the way over here, but kind of warmish. So I'm gonna draw a perfect circle using the quick shape tool. So it's really cool function of Procreate to use it 
you just draw sort of a circle shape. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then when you get to the end, you just don't let go. And you'll see we have this cool little oval. But if we want it to be a circle, you just take another finger and hold it down like that. And we kind of get that to the size we want by dragging. And then you can even tap edit shape here and you can move this circle around and get it where you want it to be. You can drag the edge if you want to resize it some more. So I don't know, maybe I'll make a small little moon and have it be right there. And then when you're done, you can fill it with color drop like that. So the last few details that we're going to add to this piece are sort of a kind of like a a halo of a darker color onto the background, and then we're gonna add some sparkles. So we're gonna wanna create a new layer below this moon. So again, I'm gonna tap the plus sign. It will create a layer above whatever your selected layer is, so you usually have to move it down. So tap, hold, and drag it to the bottom. And then I'm gonna select this same background color with my uh, eyedropper. So again, hold down until you have that color. And then I'm gonna choose kind of a darker, more saturated version of that color. So I'm kind of going down uh, as well as to the right because I wanna just add a little bit of a texture to the background kind of. So now I'm gonna go over to my, or to my brushes and I'm gonna choose that coarse shader brush that I use to shade the cat's body. And I'm just gonna kind of add sort of a circle shape of uh, this darker color. And this is just to kind of add some interest to the background like that. And then the last thing that we're going to do is to add some stars to our sky. So we're going to go ahead and go to our layers and we can use this same layer that we used for the bat's eyes and the cat's face. We'll just use that same layer. So again, tap that layer. And then I'm going to choose white as my color. So tap, tap close to white and it'll snap to white. And then the brush that I'm gonna use is gonna be that grainy liner brush that I used for like the cat's mouth and the uh, whiskers. And all we're gonna do is kind of just draw some little six-sided stars, little asterisks. These are my favorite little stars to draw. Uh, maybe I'll do one right there, just kind of wherever you think it needs them. Sometimes I do these little plus signs, kind of stars. And then you can also do these, um, here, maybe we'll do one here kind of like diamonds that are like curved. <laughs> so these little diamond shapes that are kind of like squished, <laughs> I don't know. So just add like a few different types of stars throughout your piece, zoom out so you can make sure everything's looking good. Maybe we need one there, maybe another little diamond shape there. But overall, this is looking really cute. So they're kind of like stars, kind of like sparkles. And there you have your completed spooky cat scene, complete with a full moon and a couple bat friends. I hope this gets you in the mood for spooky season and you learned a lot about using Procreate. Again, I'm Lisa Bardot and I help people find their creativity through drawing on the iPad. If you enjoyed learning from this video, you'll love being a member of Art Makers Club. We've got a growing library of premium courses, exclusive classes, and expanded in-depth tutorials with extra goodies to help you learn, like procreate files of what we're drawing so you can see how the layers are broken down and get a closer look at what brushes we used, procreate color palettes, additional instructions, and more. You'll also get to join in members-only live events every month such as Ask Me Anything Q&As and live drawing tutorials. In our community clubhouse, you'll get to connect with like-minded learning artists, share your work, ask for feedback, participate in discussions, and so much more. And you'll get instant access to the bonus brushes, a unique set of never-before-seen Bardo Brush Procreate brushes. Come join us in the club. You can learn more at artmakersclub.com. If you're sharing your work to Instagram, I would love to see it. Use the hashtag Bardo Brush. Thanks and happy art making. If you like this video, please subscribe for more awesome tutorials and check out one of my other videos. Thanks and have a great day.